Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another pick a card reading. So today's reading is actually uh, a little bit interesting. I was like, okay, it's been a while since I've done a reading based on like just, um, you know, like your connections or love relationships and something like that. So I was like, okay, how can we look into a, a different um aspect of your love life you know how can we like um, make the reading more fun and interesting so what we're doing today is um, we are looking at how many people around you okay um, have potential feelings for you that means that they see you in a way where if they want then their feelings for you could develop into something more not necessarily you know, it's it's not necessarily that it is right now. We It could possibly be like if someone has like a crush on you or something, it can also come out in this reading. Um, but yes, the energy that I've kind of put into this reading, the intention that I'm starting this reading with is that, you know, people around you who are probably like your friends or acquaintances or you've just like met or them once or twice um, and you don't necessarily have feelings for them or maybe you do I'm not sure <laughs> that's for you to decide um, but like who are all these people and you know um, like what's what's their personalities like we're gonna get into that so maybe you can identify the person because that's gonna be like really interesting if you do that um, so yeah it's just like because I feel uh, um, you know um, you cannot just be like oh we're just friends like you know, relationships are not that structural and rigid. Uh, sometimes, you know, you have friends, but you're like, oh, you know, if something like happens, you know, I, I, I don't mind being with that person. Like that person has a good energy. He's an interesting person or or they are like an interesting person. Um, so we're just seeing like potential feelings here. The um, the potential for a friendship or for of of a relationship to maybe move further and forward if two individuals are willing to take action towards it okay so that's the message that i'm uh, keeping out there um you know for the reading also i actually made this candle and it turned out really nice i have rose petals and uh calendula petals inside of it and i can't show you because it's still burning and it smells so good and this is the lid it's this it says thank you for supporting my business so that's just a cute sticker um so just wanted to like tell you that i'm kind of getting into like candle making and i'm gonna see how it turns out because i love candles and i think they just they just lift the mood wherever you are be at workplace or at home it just makes you feel good so without wasting any further um you know any time further we're gonna get straight into it into the pile selection so here are the crystals as always for all the three piles for pile one we have this gorgeous carnelian okay my camera always tends to not focus so i'm gonna actually zoom in for this okay so this is a gorgeous carnelian for pile two we have an amethyst angel It's a really dark one, so I love it. And for pile three, we have a tiger's eye. This is again gorgeous. I love the layers that we can see here. Yes, so you can go ahead, pause the video, you know, or whatever you like to do uh, to uh, choose the readings if you're new to pick a cards this is how you pick a pile whichever crystal you're drawn to the most and then for each and every crystal there's a reading if it doesn't resonate don't freak out there's nothing to worry maybe it's just the wrong pile you can go and check out other piles if you were drawn to someone else and if not maybe this is not the reading for you right so you can check out my pick a card playlist and you can go there and watch some other readings there are a plenty for you to look at so without wasting any time we'll get started with pile one hi pile one so if you chose this carnelian crystal this is going to be your reading for who are these people around you you know who have whose feelings can probably escalate into something more 
and we're gonna get into it <laughs> so um i'm actually excited for this one because it's been a while since i've done like relationship or love readings so i'm just like excited i'm gonna zoom out a little bit yeah this is better so angel spreads guides what do we have for pile one what do we okay first of all okay i don't have like a particular structure for like this reading but i feel like we're gonna go like um how many people are there and i'm gonna just like shuffle like thrice and if i get a few cards i'm gonna take it if if not i'm gonna shuffle more times but we're gonna get like the number of people who are kind of around you whose energies we're gonna look into so um pile one okay we definitely have one person we have eight of coins it's not gonna focus i'm gonna show you all the cards later so um Okay, we have shuffled twice the last time. If there is anybody else, please show up. Oh, there is one. Okay. Interesting. We have the Page of Swords. So we are basically looking at two people. Pile one for you specifically. And... I think that one person is definitely at your workplace, okay? With eight of coins, it's either where you work or maybe if you travel, let's say, every single day to a certain place for work, maybe there is someone who always kind of notices you and sees you. Um, I feel like uh, this could also be someone who does not necessarily enjoy their job. Um, so that's one way you could identify them, um, you know, but I feel like they're there for you. For, you know, it's, it's also like, okay, let's say you're working part-time at a library or at a cafe or a restaurant somewhere, right? And there's a person who's also working there. They may not really need this job or they may not really be wanting uh, to do this job, but they do it because they get to see you. Like, are you getting me? And the next card that we have is Page of Swords. This is someone who's like really talkative. This is someone who's like um, very childlike energy, very like curious, adventurous energy, someone who's always up to something notorious, you know, that kind of an energy. So these two people are very different. I feel like with the Eight of Coins person, I feel like they could also be in a certain job because they have a lot of responsibilities on their shoulders so this is a more mature person that i'm seeing here with the eight of coins and page of swords is someone who's more younger someone who's more like childlike someone who does not have responsibilities does not have is not answerable to someone maybe and that's why they're more free-spirited um so these are like very different and opposite people which we are seeing here uh, if you want me to focus, I can focus on the cards like this now. Okay. Let's see. Um, so we'll keep this person on the right and this person on the left. So we'll see how do they feel right now? Like what are their current feelings? And what progress can we see? And in how much time? Okay. So we'll look at the eight of coins person first. How do they feel about you right now? How do they feel about pile one right now? Oh, wow. Nine of coins. This is interesting. Uh, I feel like, so you guys, I feel like this person feels motivated and inspired oh, from you at workplace. This person is like, as I said, for some of you, you are the reason this person is still kind of uh dealing with this situation or they're still in this workplace situation um you know uh so this is interesting i feel like they want to become the best version of themselves when they look at you uh, they're like oh you know this person works so hard so why can't i work hard um nine of coins is also that wish fulfillment energy so i definitely as i mentioned that they definitely feel like you know every day when they see you they feel like you know um their wish is fulfilled and maybe you know let's say some for a few days you're taking off from work that's when they really find it difficult to get through the day um that's the energy i'm seeing so they may not necessarily 
uh, be in love with you, let's say, or but I definitely feel like they're used to you, number one, they're used to you being around them at the workplace and they find you very inspiring and motivating i feel like you're doing much you are someone who's actually enjoying what you're doing in this job so that's what i feel i feel like this person they feel more driven that's the message that i'm getting they feel more driven they feel that all the hard work that they have done is worth it when they look at you. At the, but this is like a strong workplace because I'm seeing the nine of coins and the eight of coins. Right. So again, uh, I'm going to say this, that if, if this doesn't feel like this is your person, um, we're going to still look into this one because sometimes, you know, um, you know, we have this as individuals, we have this habit of like being self depreciate like i don't know we like just like think negative about ourselves we just feel like oh who's gonna be in love with us or who's gonna like us like we're just like i'm just like a random girl or a random man or a boy you know whoever person and why would somebody like me but we never realize how you know what characteristic uh, or what um things about us could really influence people so uh don't be <laughs> i really don't like like a self-deprecative i don't know what the word is um but like not appreciating yourself basically it's not the attitude that we are going into this reading for so always be um you know accepting of the love that you get uh, so this is the person is surely from workspace. Let's look at the page of swords. That was just a bad shuffle, guys. Okay. So the card that we have is the queen of wands. Okay. So this person sees you. Uh, okay. This is like the energy, right? How do they feel about you right now? They see you as someone who's feisty, someone who's fiery, someone who's um very driven someone who's very ambitious someone who is nurturing in her his or her own way and like your own way but they see that strength they see that power they see the strength to influence people i feel like pile one you guys have the power to really influence people around you um i'm gonna zoom it out a little bit So we have these two people who are, who's, but the way they see you is kind of very similar, right? With the nine of coins, someone who's independent, self-sufficient, is driven, ambitious, you know, they know how to work towards their dreams and similar is the energy of Queen of Wands where she knows how to create her uh, dream life. She knows what she wants. She's spiritual. She's ambitious. She dances to the rhythm of life, basically, where you don't take life very seriously. Is it that you don't stress about it? What you... This is also that energy I feel like, okay, I feel like this person is kind of a little intimidated by you as well. This person could definitely be a little younger than you, like they could be like an intern, let's say they're at your workplace or they could just be like, you know, if you're living in like a residential building or like in a society, there could be someone there. Um, I'm not really seeing where exactly this person is around you, but this person is definitely younger or has like a younger uh, energy um, to where, um, you know, you know, in them. Uh, but they're definitely <laughs> intimidated by you as well. Okay. Um I am seeing like a more like an it does okay I feel like they see you as someone who is very confrontate con confrontative like someone who is not afraid to um, confront the other person uh, if they feel like you know something's going wrong this this is more like a they want you to be 
their mentor, that kind of an energy. Here I'm seeing more acquaintance energy, like a similar age, you know, similar mindset, that kind of an energy. Here I'm seeing someone who's younger than you, someone who's new, someone who's enthusiastic. And they're just like, oh, I wish this person could like just teach me everything and how to do it. So that's the energy I'm seeing. Again, very similar though. I feel like you're highly, you're very, very passionate, pile one. But whatever it is that you do, and I feel that, you know, that's the similar energy. There are people who are really inspired by the way you work or by the way you just like, um, you know, um, just how you live your life, basically. This is a card, uh, the next card that we have, which is like the conjunction card, where how these two people's energies are kind of coming together because I feel like we... We all radiate some energies, right? And we kind of, they kind of mix into each other. So how is it like, what's the similarity here? And we have judgment, which represents kind of like finishing things up, like wrapping things up, taking the last step. But it also judgment is like uh, looking out for like someone to really help you, like finding a helping hand. Um, it's more like... You know, they see you as someone who could really help them um, move out of their present situation and take them to a better place. Because judgment is like, you know, um, when you're finally, finally willing to move out of a comfort space and you're finally willing to grow. So I feel like... Maybe none of these two individuals have like romantic feelings for you right now, but I feel like they definitely. They also see you as someone who's like a healer, I feel, pile one. They definitely see you as someone who has the ability to heal. And th maybe these both individuals, they need a certain kind of healing, you know, energetically. And that's why they're drawn towards you. Um, yeah, so this is interesting. Let's get into some more details. Um, we're going to see why do, you, do they feel this way for you? Why do they feel a certain way for you? Uh, and for that, I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot. Why do they feel this way, uh, you know, towards you? Like, where are they energetically? Like, how, why, why, what are they going through in their life, uh, probably, uh, to be go really going through something like this? So I'm going to shuffle the deck. Because it's been a while since I've used this one. That wasn't a great shuffle. But okay. One more time, please. Okay. So why does pile one feel like this? Oh my god, okay. We have the chariot. I feel like, yes. Um, they're definitely... We have the chariot and it's not going to focus again. <laughs> uh, but I feel like this person feels this way for you because they're wanting to move forward in life. They want to move forward and they see you as someone who could really help them move forward in their life wherever they are right now. I also feel like they, they kind of as I said, like they genuinely want to be like you, both these people, okay? They have that similar energy of like wanting to be like you um, so that you are, they're able to perform better and they're able to move forward because with the eight of coins, I'm seeing like they're definitely feeling stuck right now, wherever they are. You are a force in their life, which will help them move forward, you know, for this person on the left. Let's see, what do we have? Why do the why does the person on the right feel this way for you? 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We have the Queen of Wands again. This is funny. Uh, it makes so much sense again. The universe is like, is the previous message not clear enough for you? They just see you as someone who knows how to live your life. I feel like, again, with the Page of Swords, this is someone who's very recently maybe, you know, been interested in how to live your life to the fullest. And with Queen of Wands, they see you. We have two Queen of Wands together. This, this person see you as someone who's really like amazing you know how to live your life they're just like so mesmerized by you pile one um that it, it's actually kind of um just like they see you as a celebrity here okay let's see where this is going Again, see, in both these two cards, we have, like, a similar color palette happening with purples, reds, and oranges. So they see you as someone who's highly connected to your intuition, someone who's very powerful, very fiery energy, very driven, very motivated. I feel like you are someone, I mean, again, everyone has their own struggles in their life, but I feel like even if you're going through a difficult time in your life, you always are cheerful and happy around people and that's how they perceive you they're like you know she they, this person they just see you as like oh this person's gonna have solution uh, have a solution for everything um you know um so this is a great energy um the next message is where or in what ways their feelings could possibly escalate right in which direction so we look at the person for in the left first in what ways this person's feelings could grow or escalate in the near future. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands. Uh, okay. There's a lot of Wands energy. Yeah. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Interesting. I feel like they want to have a really great time with you. I feel like maybe have some like fun adventures with you again the chariot energies kind of gives that adventure vibes um again a very orange fiery energy like this whole even all these cards you have like a lot of orange happening um so maybe your aura could be could have a lot of orange tones in it like colors in it I feel like this person right here, Pile 1, wants to learn how to just enjoy life. Because maybe this is someone who really stresses about life, really stresses about their daily life, not like just big things. They have a tendency to overthink, uh, overanalyze. And you are someone who just like goes with the flow, with the Knight of Wands. And they want to get closer to you to really become like you you know they they want they really aspire to live the life the way you live you know uh knight of wands is also someone who has like a very like infatuation energy so maybe this person in the near future could possibly be like infatuated towards you you know um it, like slowly and slowly when they'll get to know you better i feel like that's when uh, it there is a pos possibility um you know for um them to feel like physically drawn towards you like sexually right uh, attracted towards you so let's see how this person on the right how their feelings could possibly escalate in the near future Okay, um, we have five of wands. This person, <laughs> I feel like this person definitely feels attracted to you already. And I feel like they are going, they feel like they're going to be like, oh, there's, there, I'm finally like getting into the competition, into this whole competition of, uh, 
being around you this person's gonna feel like oh my god there's like she has or they have basically you pile one have so many people to kind of deal with uh, all the time and how are they like supposed to really um get that attention from you they're gonna be like fighting for your attention fighting for your time um with people around you um and you're just like huh let me your oh, oh my god like this is really fun okay pile two, pile one and oh my god exactly that's why you were like drawn to uh, the carnelian as well because it has orange it's an orange crystal right um see so and in this whole reading we have so many cards which are like orange in color so there's a lot of orange energy maybe you were also drawn to amethyst but then you were like no i'm gonna go to the carnelian <laughs> uh but yes oh my god this they, there are gonna be people fighting for your attention oh god and these two people their energies really sync well together and that's how i kind of see that these readings make sense if two because there are certain similar characteristics which people are drawn to because of why people are drawn to you right there's going to be always certain common traits um until unless you are you have like a different personality with everyone you interact with uh, and that's that's what we are seeing here so that's interesting now uh i'm just gonna take out a final card from um the oracle of mystical moments and we're gonna see what is it that you can do in this situation right let's say um what's the guidance for you when it comes to these two individuals so we're gonna pull actually two cards one for this person and one for this person so let's see what's the guidance for pile one when it comes to pile a person on the left okay we have elixir of life so okay so the elixir of life this is the card that came out for person on the left this is a fairly new oracle deck so i'm definitely going to read the message from the guidebook for you guys but intuitively if i'm seeing like this person is okay let's look at pile two first We have all is connected. Interesting. I feel like you're probably you probably know this person. I'm not sure if you're aware of this person. Um, again, this card also gives me a very like queen energy. Both these cards actually. But let's go through the guidebook and see what the message has. What's the message? Let's see. So we have elixir number 15. Healing, consolidation, reinvigoration, truth. A woman is leaning towards a deep red rose. She faces the flower with her eyes closed. Okay, with her eyes closed. Concentrating on the lush bloom she is receiving the sweet scent of nature and the energy of life the wind rustles her hair whispering the truths of the universe into her ears she can hear her own breath mingling with the wind sitting quietly in nature by a stream or in a garden can help still out still our wandering mind and heal a troubled heart so as i said you could be a healer yourself and this person is really looking out for some healing and that's what the universe is guiding you to do maybe you know be like a good listener whenever this person kind of wants to have like a conversation with you or um why isn't this focusing 
okay and like in whatever ways if you can help this person heal that's what i'm seeing is going to be your guidance in whatever ways you can help with this this person you know you can motivate them inspire them um that's the energy i'm seeing because that's that's actually the message that i saw when i first pulled out the card with the elixir of life it's like they really need that first aid from you which will allow them to keep moving forward you know maybe they're going through a difficult time in their own life right now so that's the guidance for you when it comes to this person again as i mentioned this does not have this reading is not about relationships or like love relationships or all of that yes something like that could also pop out but it's all we we have so many more important relationships to be in and be a part of and we have a role in them um, much more than just like love re love relationships right or romantic relationships so let's see what we have with all is connected it says innovation transformation growth and release and these are the keywords and that's what i said with the first card when i saw the page of swords that this person is someone who's wanting to grow this person is someone who wants to learn new things wants to learn how learn certain skills from you and that's the energy of this card as well a girl sits on a tree trunk and holds leaves in her hands while other okay uh, blows while, uh, while others blow away in uh, the wind a small spider holds oh my god i thought the card is focusing uh oh okay yes the spider holds few leaves together with this fine filament even though the wind threatens to tear them apart don't be afraid of changes release your fears by letting go change is hard and often painful but it's the only way to grow you may drift but you will never lose yourself life goes on nothing ends it is reshaped into something new by the wind not better or worse but different and in that change lies wonder and openings okay interesting i feel like this person could possibly approach you pal one uh with a certain offer now this could be again a romantic offer or like for you to become a mentor and you'll be like oh but i haven't done something like that in the past because i see a younger energy right as i mentioned so this could be someone who really wants to learn from you they want you to become their mentor their guide and you're like but oh that's not my expertise and i don't know if i'll be able to do it so the guidance is don't be afraid of that change if you feel like you can definitely you know pass on some wisdom some skills some knowledge to this person uh, go for it just because you haven't done something in the past doesn't mean it's not meant for you and um i, I love it i feel like you're probably like just like helping both these people you're going to help both these people in your own way um and exactly what they need right this person needs healing and here this person needs new skills that you can uh, you know imbibe into them things that you can pass on to them because this person is a learning mind here they really want to learn they want to grow and evolve and transform for good and uh, this is the guidance for you for both these people so if this reading helped you pile one i am glad and um you know if you know these people great if you don't then maybe you can you know uh, now figure them out a lot more easily and um hope you can help them in whatever ways you know you want to and they're you know wanting to receive and I hope you have a great day. I hope this is a different reading and you liked it and it made sense and it, you know, um, allowed you to have a wider perspective on like just different relationships, um, you know, ready to be explored around you. And I hope you have a great day. Please, if you're new, subscribe to the channel so that you always, always <laughs> are connected. And uh, don't forget the bell icon so that you never miss an update whenever i post it comment down below if this reading resonated to you it really makes my day thank you so much for being here i'll see you in the next one bye hello pile two if you chose this beautiful gorgeous amethyst 
angel this is going to be your message or reading of you know who uh, are people around you who have certain feelings for you uh, doesn't have to be again romantic feelings but just like some connections which could be important for you which you may or may not be aware of right so uh, we're going to look into how they feel about you why do they feel about you the way they do and um, you know if there is going to be a possible escalation of their feelings into something romantic or not we're gonna get into that as well so I'm gonna shuffle it a few times and we're gonna um, get like um, different people's energy I'm mostly sticking to two like one or two maximum three for pile one we had two so we have oh my oh, oh my god this is not funny pile one had the same card eight of coins as person one okay let's see we're not gonna freak out just as yet the next person that we have is the hierophant okay so <laughs> interesting um maybe you were drawn to pile two as well or like pile one as well because I definitely mentioned in pile one's reading that they could possibly be drawn to pile two because their energy, the cards had a lot of orange and purple colors and the amethyst is like really dark purple. So I was like, maybe they were drawn to that and the crystal that they chose was carnelian. So I was like, hmm, that's, 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 we're definitely seeing something there. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep your amethyst right here so that you can see a little bit maybe now right okay okay the first person is a similar person to pile one and that's why i feel that maybe you were drawn to pile one as well very strongly <laughs> this is interesting eight of coins i but i'm seeing a different energy this is someone who has reached to the top of their game after going through a lot of struggles and that was not the message that I saw for like pile one. Um, this person's definitely not doing what they love to do. I feel like there's definitely a sense of obligation. There's a sense of responsibility on this person's shoulders. But I feel that they have learned, they have grown, it has grown onto them, you know. You know what I mean? Uh, this person, again, could be in your work-related environment. Um, the next person that we have here is the Hierophant. So this could also be a work person, person at a workplace, um, someone in authority, could be a boss, could be a mentor, could be a teacher. Um, this could also be like... Mm, Someone who you really look up to. This could be that person, the Hierophant. Uh, that's how you see them, kind of. Or that's how they're related to you, basically. Because this is like their energy of how you see them. How you can identify this person. So with the Hierophant, that's the message that I'm seeing. That this could be someone at, someone who exactly like the Eight of Coins could be like at your workplace, at your organization. Could be someone in authority. This could be more like an acquaintance or a colleague. Um, and this person is more likely to be a boss or a mentor or someone who's like, <clears throat> you know, um, a level above you or like few levels above you. Like someone who's like older, a little more mature, has more knowledge. So let's see how these two people feel about you, okay? What do they currently feel about you? So we'll look at the person on the right first. How does this person feel about pile one, pile two, sorry. We have the knight of coins, okay? If this person see you as someone who's very hardworking, someone who's very punctual, very diligent, someone who's very, very focused on what their next goal is. The knight of coins is someone who's very consistent, very patient with um, their actions and the results that they're expecting. 
I feel like uh, they also see you as someone who's stubborn, but in a good way, um, is that <clears throat> like if you want something, you're going to go and get that no matter what. Like you're the go-getter. They see you as someone who is going to leave no stone unturned to really get something or to reach somewhere. That's the Knight of Coins energy. They do see you as someone who is probably a little more like an introvert okay or they it's not necessarily how you are but that's how they see you they see you as someone who's like just concerned about the work they're not you're not someone who's very like socializing uh you know good at socializing or like a not someone who's not very talkative i feel like you this this person see you as someone who lets the work speak for them and uh that's a really good um way or like the way they see you right let's see how this person um uh, see you or what do they feel for you wow okay okay this person's perception is a little more defined we can clearly say that also we have two major arcanas here so i feel like this is probably a stronger connection right here okay why is it not focusing please focus thank you uh, we have the High Priestess, okay, right, um, I feel like this person definitely has a similar sense of understanding, where you have that sense of mystery around you, um, but this person see you as not someone who's introverted or shy, this person knows that you are someone who chooses to be around very, like, specific people you're selectively social that's what how they perceive you and i feel like that's something that they really appreciate in you because you are not a people pleaser you are not someone who uh, follows the herd you know you make your own path um you trust your intuition you go with your gut feeling you know um you know what I'm seeing is that this is probably like the outer outer uh personality that you have, like more masculine, right? Hard working and all of that. And this right here is the more receptive, more feminine energy. Uh, but these both things are like a part of you. And this person is kind of like seeing you from more like a surface level. But this person, because I mentioned they're more wiser, they're more uh, knowledgeable they have more experience in maybe dealing with people or understanding people they can clearly see through you you know through your inner self and i feel like they definitely know that there are a lot of things that are hidden about you that they do not know that they're not aware of and that's what creates that kind of adventure um in this connection they feel like you know they ha because they know so much the fact that they're not able to decode you or like, you know, um, it, it, it gives them that sense of motivation, that drive, that driven to kind of get to know you better. Uh, that's the energy that I'm seeing here. That's how they feel about you. That, you know, they feel like you're a mystery box that needs to be opened up and looked through, you know, explored. <laughs> so uh, that's the message I'm seeing. What's the next message is that how these two people's energies kind of come together, um, focusing at you, you know, this is majorly surrounding your energy, the energy that you give away uh, into the physical world, um, which really influences how people around you see you. And there are always going to be certain similarities. Um, so let's see that there are always going to be like certain similar characteristics, which other all the people around you are like um, attracted towards so we're going to look into that wow okay this is interesting we have ten of wands okay okay i feel like both these individuals like people they feel that you have a lot on your plate right now you have a lot on your plate and I feel like they're probably willing, always kind of trying to uh, lessen your workload in some one way or the other, you know. But with the Ten of Wands, they also see you as someone who's not willing to take any outside help. Stubborn, keeping things to yourself. That's the Ten of Wands coming together. 
that someone who is no matter how difficult the situation is for you you are someone who probably does not um you know you're you're someone who do not want other people to interfere in your life interfere in your matters uh, you're someone who's more um how should i put this you're someone who's more like i don't want to burden other people with my burden uh, whereas other people around you both of them have this energy of getting to know you better and help you with your work and understand you in your own way and that's why these this ten of wands makes so much sense because they're like you know what like you know we want to help you in whatever ways we possibly can and uh, all they want for you to do is to open up um uh, so that you know and share your problems i feel like you're someone who um can have a really great time with people like you can really chill around and everything but especially when it comes to like your hardships and like your struggles you keep those things a secret and that's where you don't take anybody else's help this is really great and i feel like with these readings these kind of readings you as an individual get to know more as to how people perceive you rather than just like making assumptions in your own head and that's what i love the most um and i hope this reading makes sense and if it does please uh you know like the video comment down below hit the subscribe button if you're new and you know yeah just join the fam <laughs> let's see what else what else were we supposed to see yeah so why do they feel this way what are they going through in their own life to feel this way uh, towards you so we look at the person on the left first oops there are so many cards we just need one spread guides okay What are they going through in their own lives to feel a certain way for you? Okay. Today, the shuffling is actually tricky. Wow. Okay. We have the Hierophant. Is this the same person? <laughs> is this the same person? They're just like pretending to be like, I don't know, maybe. Or maybe they're just like similar. We have the Hierophant. I feel like they are on a journey of self-reflection okay they're on this journey of becoming more self-aware they're on this journey of improving themselves at work maybe especially right uh, they want they have certain goals dreams and aspirations when it comes to their uh, you know their individual self like their spiritual self and also their like work life situation and they want to excel in both and i feel like the way they feel the space for you because they feel that you can teach them so much more you like i feel like th this person right here has learned so much from your life experiences if they have been observing you for a while let's say at workplace if this is a new person which could be then i'm seeing that this is someone who's like you know this is uh, you know pile two is the person who i just want to observe right and i want to learn everything that they do or just like how how are they so hard working and how can you know um how are they like just like i'm getting like work ethics that's a strong point i'm getting that maybe they're like really you know uh mo like kind of like uh <sighs> influenced by your work ethics four of wands pile uh, for this person on the right we have four of wands i feel like this person wants you to celebrate more to open up more as i said this person wants you to open up this person wants you to enjoy life this person wants you to have stable relationships and friendships and connections that you could enjoy with they're like okay i get you and i respect the fact that you want to go through your problems all by yourself i get it but when there are good times at least that's when you're need to supposed to kind of 
have a good time with people around you, you know, have those stable relationships. I feel like you are someone, Pile 2, who speaks to everyone, but then you do not connect to people on a very, very deep level. And that's what this person is really trying to establish here between the two of you. Uh, this person could definitely be wanting to marry you for some of you, um, because we have the Hierophant, which speaks of, like, marriage as well, like, you know, uh, the institution of marriage and four of wands is also the card that represents that stability in foundation in foundation and uh, you know um celebrations that kind of energy so you have that 11 11 energy the the marriage energy possibly uh this person could definitely be having certain feelings for you they may or may not be aware of them just as yet um, but that's okay, like, there's nothing to worry about in that situation. Um, this person, on the other hand, with the Hierophant, the Knight of Coins, and the Eight of Coins, has more work-related energy. It's more professional. This is more, like, both these people could exist in the same atmosphere, in the same place, in the same, um, surrounding. But this person has a more internal, um relationship with you that's what they want to establish they want to establish a more something that's way more like that's beyond the professional space that you share this person it's definitely strictly professional for now is what i'm seeing they definitely see you as someone um they're just like in awe of like your work ethics and the way you behave and the way the way you deal with people, the way you deal with challenges. And they're probably in it for like all the learning and the knowledge that you can pass down to them. Here, the Hierophant is kind of reversed and you have the High Priestess, which is like this person wants to get to know you to the core. This person... I feel like this person genuinely has some feelings for you because they're like, I want to just get to know this person. Because Hierophant is that someone who is like wise, right? Someone who is smart, someone who's knowledgeable, someone who knows what's the right thing to do. And they're like, if I'm looking for like a stable, solid relationship with you, like with Pile 2, with this person, I need to get to the roots. I need to understand this person to their core and that's what they're trying to do here and that's what the energy is showing me here so the next thing that we're going to look into is uh how can their feelings you know possibly escalate like what can you expect from them in the near future how could their feelings uh in what direction their feelings could possibly move forward when it comes to you so pile two let's see what do we have from the person on the left we just need one card, please. Okay, we have two of swords. Wow, okay. I'm seeing a sense of confusion. I feel like um, if you, in the near future, get to interact with this person, I feel like they're going to be way too overwhelmed with the information that you provide them or the kind of knowledge, right? Or uh, they could also possibly be distracted uh, at that point of time and they're not going to be able to focus as much as you would want them to. Okay, so with the Two of Swords, that's what I'm seeing, you know, um, kind of not being receptive, not being able to take in the information. I definitely feel like this person could possibly in the near future go through a difficult phase in their life where they're not able to make things, um, like, make out of things, you know. Um, they are not able to see things clearly and maybe that's the time when you can really guide them, um, you know, with your guidance that they're looking for. They're definitely going to be go facing difficulties when it comes to making a decision, um, in the near future so um, that's where the, you could probably help them pile to you know making those decisions getting that clarity opening uh, themselves to really be able to see through things clearly um, what do we have for pile sorry the person on the right I always speak of like piles that's why OK, 
Okay. We have the hermit. Okay, interesting. Um, I feel... Okay, I feel like this person is not going to share their feelings just as yet. I feel like they being the hierophant, um, you know, energies there and then the hermit. Both are very, to me, like internalized energies with the hermit. I'm seeing that, um, you know, uh, feeling like in the near future they'll definitely get to know a lot more about you and they would be like i need more time to figure this out i need my own time to really analyze whether they want something with you whether they want it to be strictly professional or they want it to be something more um i'm also seeing um you know this person on the right uh, they're definitely going to go into a shell for some time. I feel that um, yeah, the guidance for you, like what you need to do regarding each and each, both of these people, we're going to get into that. But before that, yes, I feel like they're, they're definitely going to um, <laughs> like it could be a little surprising for you um, when initially or maybe right now this person is like too much in your face right they're like oh tell me this tell me this about you tell me that about you and then slowly maybe they're not as uh, you know in your face as i'm like talking um but they're gonna be like you could definitely sense a change in this person's behavior around you and that's because they are just like really trying to make sense of certain things um regarding you in their life so let's look at the guidance like what are you supposed to do when it comes to both these people for the right person on the left, we have Mermaid's Love. That's an interesting card. This to me is like, looks like an unrequited love. Like where the mermaid kind of knows that she can never be with the man because she cannot leave the sea or the ocean. And this man cannot come and live um, with her. Um, okay. For a person on the right, we have Night Ride. Okay. We have Night Ride. I really love this card. Oh my god. Like, this is just like friends hanging out together. The Night Ride to me, like, represents the subconscious. So it's like getting to know those deeper parts of each other and being vulnerable and protective of each other i just love this card and i feel like this fits so well for like this person right here but i'm still gonna read the message to you because um this is a fairly new oracle deck that i'm working with and i don't want you to be left out with any message so i'm gonna read the first person's message the person on the left which is um mermaid's love Okay, so it speaks of love, partnership, support, and accord. Okay, maybe this person also has some feelings for you, but they're not sure yet. They're not going to be like sure. They're more confused. Okay. A loving couple is shown on this card. The woman is a mermaid. Her hair and tail seem to float her through the sky. A man with feathers holds her hand. He grounds and protects her. He is her base. So this is like a bird man because you can also see like feathers around him and you can also see like the bird, right? They are from different worlds, water and the sky, but they are complete together, a perfect love union. Their differences makes them stronger and balanced. They support each other in their own way, but always from a place of respect and love so yes as i said this does not have to be like a i feel like if this person um even like falls in love with you or like you know um dwell those like develop those feelings for you um i feel like they're not going to be reciprocated because you don't like this person is not matching up to your standards is what i'm seeing uh pile two 
um, you know, you definitely fit well on their standards, but I feel like you, they don't when it comes to yours. And uh, as much as you would really love to help them with anything when it comes to work or something like that, you're always up for it. Like, right? It's like a teamwork, two different people coming together to make something beautiful. That's more like I'm seeing a teamwork, but I'm not seeing like a perfect union, which is meant to kind of last long in this physical world so that's what i'm seeing for this person on their left here for the person on the right let's look at number 46 we have the night right right we have protector wonder in the night big brother and a friendship okay an elephant transports two owls on his back a mother with her young bird child protectively she has folded her wings over the young owl's head the elephant rides through the night, blowing the stars up into the sky through his trunk, connected with magic and wonder. The elephant is a protector, a strong shoulder to lean on in all times. Even during dark times, you can feel safe and secure besides him. And isn't this amazing, the kind of energy that we saw with like the four of wands, the high priestess here, that this person knows that you like to do things on your own, you don't don't share your secrets and everything, and they want you to like have that kind of friendship or relationship with someone who you can, you know, enjoy in good times and share your difficulties and uh, difficult times. So this is how the guidance is for you to really trust this person. If you already know this person, I feel like this person has like they just want the best for you and they definitely have like good intentions for you. I feel like they're very wise, they're very mature and they can they've probably gone through a phase like you already, you know, and um they know what like how it feels to be in that position, you know, uh to feel a certain way when there's nobody around you. Uh so again as I said, this could this person could also have feelings for you, but Everything about this connection here is very physical, just in the physical plane and very surface level. Whereas this on the other side, this person is connected to you emotionally. This person wants to be connected to you like spiritually and emotionally. They want you to take care of yourself. They want you to have stronger relationships so that you can perform better in the physical world. Whereas this is just more like, oh, can we like come together for something and make magic happen which is great i mean again it's not something it's not like a bad thing um but yes you can definitely sense um the difference in the energies when it comes to both these two people and i feel and i hope uh pile to that this reading resonates and it gives you um you know uh, more clarity when it comes to you know people around you and situationships and relationships around you which are not necessarily romantic um you know or love uh, based because there are so many more relationships we need to deal with this in this lifetime come on right i uh, hope you um you know um take something back from this reading it helps you in your life and have a good day i'm gonna see you in the next one take care bye bye hello beautiful pile threes if you chose this gorgeous tiger's eye this is going to be your message or reading for how do people feel about you like you know people around you people who are surround you know at your work maybe in your neighborhood in your friend circle they're an acquaintance you know a fellow class classmate whoever it is how do they feel about you and you know how their feelings could possibly escalate in the future and how are you supposed to deal with those connections and relationships so pile one and two were actually very very interesting they had um, a similar person similar energy um, and a lot of meaningful things to take away from this reading so i hope um it's the same for you if you're new please subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you never miss an update whenever i post videos like this i post um you know a lot of pick a card readings and tarot related stuff and also recently um i've started this new series of study the deck with me where we study the deck the tarot deck or an oracle deck we go through each and every card one by one and we go through the guidebook 
and you know everything it's just a fun learning process if you want a companion uh, to study the deck along with you can always uh, you know watch those videos uh, so I'm gonna mention the links below in this video if I have already uploaded them <laughs> uh, if not then you can always hit the bell notification so that when I post those videos you are notified about them without wasting any time further we will get straight into the people we're majorly looking at two connections or two people, two individuals, two energies around you, um, but there could be more. Right now, I'm just focusing at two. Um, great, we have two people. So the first person that we have is the Ten of Swords. I'm going to keep this person on my left. The second person we have is the Four of Wands. A very clear and straightforward energy that I'm getting from this person, these two people, this person pile, oh sorry, the person one, person on the left, um, this person is definitely going through a very difficult time in their life right now, pile three, and I feel like they're looking for um, someone like to support them, to help them get out of this situation, someone who could help them maybe financially, emotionally, you know, just like being there as a strong um, you know, pillar of strength for them. Uh, so this is more like uh, someone who needs support, someone who needs healing, I'm seeing, someone who needs a companion um, because they're definitely going through a difficult time in their life right now. But here, uh, for this person on my right, I am sensing romantic feelings for sure. And I feel like this is someone who wants to settle down with you. They want to... Um, you know love you and they want to get married to you as well for you know um <laughs> like it's there's definitely a possibility of them really wanting you to get married to them okay let's see uh what do they feel about you okay how do they feel about you or this could also be just someone who um is already married okay but this is more like the energy that i'm seeing is more like um someone who just wants to be with you in your good times someone who wants that kind of like here again both the people are looking for a certain sense of companionship when it comes to you but uh the energy is different and the need for a companionship is different so how does a pile, the person, oh my god, I, I keep saying pile, the person on the left feels about pile three. There are a lot of cards. Okay. How does the person on the left feels about pile three? Okay. We have judgment. Interesting. Yes, that's what I said. It makes so much sense. Uh they want they see you as a source of healing they see you as someone who could help them move forward uh, who could just like you know give them your arm and your hand and you can just like pull them out from this mess and this person can you can see like this person's like in this card is like trying to reach out to someone here but this person has like chopped off the fingers if you can see really closely in the card you know Their fingers have been chopped off. They were looking for support while drowning. So that's the whole energy of... Oh my god, it's not going to focus or what? Right, okay. But that's, that's the energy, right? They're looking for someone for support. That, that's the biggest key term that I'm getting here. Um, they're wanting... They're just like... They're going through a phase in life which they do not want to go through alone they're looking for that sense of support they're looking for that one person one companionship one friendship uh, which could like you know make this um, situation uh, easier for them we have the seven of cups okay i feel like this person is a very very overwhelmed number one uh, when it comes to thoughts about being with you or getting married to you or something like that. Uh, but I also feel that this person is like, 
maybe this person is actually wanting to settle down right now and you are like one of his options like one of their options not in like a bad way maybe they're not like gen like they're not necessarily in love with any one of them but they feel like you're also like a good person to be with when it comes to like spending their whole life with um although i'm seeing that it's more like a fantasy for them it's more like a wish right now maybe they are not very close to you or maybe they have like you've just met this person maybe just like a couple of times and you haven't really interacted with this person um they're definitely maybe you met like at a party or a, cere a celebration a wedding or something um but this is fairly like new and like daydreaming energy where this person could probably be crushing on you um how are these two people's energies like connecting when it comes to you um you know what is the energy that you're giving away for these people to feel a certain way okay we have the seven of wands uh makes sense yes for sure uh seven of wands is someone who is, does not let other people's words affect them or influence them uh seven of wands is um someone who faces obstacles right ahead like you know straight up and this is that's what this person is like this person on the left feels like you are the perfect person to look for help and support because you are one never not afraid of anyone number two you're always willing to face challenges and number three um you're very honest true and true to yourself with the seven of wands um they can you feel they feel like you can defend them well okay okay like for example a person looking for like a lawyer and they feel like you can really defend them and win them make them win the case this is just like an example that came into my head um but yes it could also be true here with this person um they want to be with you because one they again admire your winning energy uh they also feel like you don't let anything uh, ruin your day they don't you don't let anything ruin your energy your vision um you know your mood so uh, i feel like they are someone <laughs> they see you as someone who's very hard working and someone who's not affected by how the other how the other world or people around them perceives them and that's where they feel like you are the kind of person they've been looking for uh because maybe the way they live their life is different from how normal people kind of visualize their life or live their life and they're like i've been looking for someone who can kind of um match my energy you know that kind of thing but with seven of cups i'm definitely seeing like a more like a crushing energy having a crush on you than just like you know having some solid feelings they definitely want to get to know you better and have a more stable relationship or connection with you but right now it's more like in the air okay we have a lot of cards so we're gonna flip them over the next card is how why do they feel uh this way for you okay why do they feel this way what are they going through in their life right now again for them to feel a certain way for you we look at the person on the left first okay there's a huge possibility that this person uh, person on the left has gone through a breakup they've gone through a difficult a relationship maybe a toxic one as well and uh, maybe you are like a good friend or a colleague and i feel like they're looking for a, an emotional support here um or i feel like um this could be like that this person has really gone through some difficult phases in the past they've probably made some bad choices as well and i feel like now this is a major decision that they have to take or like a major um situation to kind of deal with and that's where they're hoping that they could receive your help 
uh, in making that decision, in taking, um, making that choice that they're supposed to make. They're looking for um, that guidance. But I'm definitely seeing a strong sense of support is what they're looking for, for sure. Like this could be regarding anything in their life, but what they're looking for is a strong sense of support. For this person on the right, let's see what they're going through right now for them to be feeling this way. We have a lot of cards, so I'm going to just take one. What are they probably going through? Okay, there's one card that flew out. So I'm going to take it. And we have the Page of Cups. Wow. <laughs> Didn't I just say that? A very dreamlike energy, you know, procrastinating, daydreaming about love, maybe. Like, this is very, like, someone who has a very recent crush on you. But they're, like, a little immature, a younger energy. And they're like, oh, I just want to get married to this person. Um, okay. They see you as someone who's really strong, and that's why, that's kind of something um, that draws them towards you. Yes, this is a very crush-like feeling, like there's nothing more for me to look into this. I feel like they definitely, this person definitely has a crush on you, pile three. Uh, this is a first very straightforward crush energy that we have seen uh, in both the previous piles we actually did not see a lot of like romantic feelings so that's interesting let's see where their feelings are going to escalate in the near future so for a person on the left we have page of pentacles i feel like they could possibly be thinking of starting something new when it comes like with you maybe a new business maybe a new venture maybe a new professional relationship they could they could also be like you know i want to be i want to like assist you in whatever you do page of pentacles is very like an apprentice energy so they're like oh i want to assist you i've left my job i've done this i'm looking for help you know maybe you've helped them and they're like can i just like assist you can i work with you um that kind of an energy because i get to learn so much from you so that's where maybe like more like just rather than just looking for like a certain sense of support now they're like wanting to work with you um more closely i would say how is this person's feeling escalating okay we have the ace of swords so this person's probably gonna get to know more want would want to know more about you okay they would want to have more conversations with you if possible and um yeah i feel like this person is they definitely think a lot about you this person on the right this person thinks a lot about you pile three you're constantly in their head i i'm seeing but i feel like they're very very intellectual it's not like they're just like someone who random person who's crushing you new i feel like they're strongly connected to their um intellect and um intuition as well and they like to really go to the core of the things with the four of ones as well if they're getting themselves into something they're gonna be all into it right um ace of swords i'm seeing new connection new co conversations uh so i feel like this person you can po probably see this person approaching you texting you or just like trying to have conversations with you in the near future that's what i'm getting okay the last two cards that are for your guidance um we will pull them out as well okay so what are the message for your guidance regarding both these people okay so for person on the left we have key on trees i'm going to show you later and sorry here and for the person on the right let's see what we have
Okay. We have a white rose of hope. I'm going to quickly zoom in and show you the cards and read out the message because this is a fairly new oracle deck that I've been working with. So I don't want you to miss out to any of the messages just because of me. So for person on the left, the guidance for you here is when it comes to them is keys on the trees. So I'm going to quickly read out the message for you here. Um, it's card number 49. Okay. It speaks of believe in yourself, solutions, and creativity. Okay. And as I mentioned, this person wants you to um, figure out a solution for them. They want that support while they're uh, going through a difficult phase of time. They want uh, you besides them when they're making an important decision. So we have on uh, the top of a wind, winding shiny metal tower, there's an elephant captured in a cage, a vast jungle of giant trees and plants around him, but the elephant is not distressed. There are keys hanging from the trees. If he picks one, he can open the cage and release himself into the wild. No situation is too complicated to be solved. Look in unexpected places for answers. You have the creativity to find the way out. So I feel like this person sees you as the key to open up their cage uh, they see you as someone who can really bring them out of a difficult situation and if you feel like you have answers to this person's problems then um, you know that's the guidance for you to go for it and help the person in whatever ways you can possibly um, so that's the guidance for you when it comes to this person for person on the right, the guidance for you is White Rose of Hope. Okay, this is a gorgeous card. And let's see, it's number 30. So it speaks of hope, uh, beacon, solution, beginnings, um, which is interesting because we have the pages, uh, which are again um, amateurs and it's like a beginning beginner's court energy. And then we have the Ace of Swords as well. If you know, right? Oh God, okay. Can you like please focus? Thank you. <laughs> right? Uh, we see a woman dressed in a blue gown standing somewhere uh, in a lonely landscape. Darkness surrounds her, but a shining white rose glows like a beacon and illuminates the night. Maybe this woman is lost, maybe she is uncertain about her feelings, yet thanks to the light of the flowers she can find her way. White roses symbolizes hope, new beginnings, admiration, and young love. There are exciting times ahead. <clears throat> what I love about this uh, oracle is that it, it just makes so much sense all the time, I feel. All the decks do, but yeah. With Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, Four of Wands, this person for sure has certain feelings for you. I feel like you haven't spoken enough or you haven't had enough conversations with this person for this person to get a clear idea whether you're interested in them or not. They're kind of waiting for a sign, um, you know, from your side to see whether there is hope when it comes to this connection or they're kind of riding solo here um they do want things to end beautifully like move forward they want to settle down with you maybe even get married but they want like a very stable relationship here at the end of the day and right now they're in a very very initial dicey place because maybe you haven't really given them a certain sign or a sense of hope that you are interested in this person or not so if you know who this person is or if in the near future this person, you know, comes up to you and approaches you in a certain direction, you need to be very, very clear and you need to um, be very open about how you feel about this person, Pile 3, because that's what this person is looking for. This person is looking for some meaningful conversation and uh, some hope, a sense of hope that, um, you know, or, or if you know this person, don't give this person a false hope because that could, like, not end in a good way so be honest and genuine about how you really feel 
for um, this person pile three so uh, that was your reading pile three hope it makes sense to you and it resonates if it does please let please let me know in the comment section below i always always appreciate you know just like knowing if my readings are being helpful uh, to you in one way or the other if you're new please subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you never miss an update whenever i post these readings i try and be as um, authentic and as creative when it comes to uh you know bringing out ideas about all these readings that i do i try and not be um you know very monotonous or like I, I try and not do similar kind of readings that all the other readers are uh, doing out there, you know, they're doing their own stuff, but I try and be as creative as possible. So if you feel that this, these kind of readings are your jam, then uh, please subscribe and join the family. I am always glad to have you on board. And uh, yes, have a great day. I hope you have a, a great, um, you know, relationship with people around you as well all the best to you i'll see you in the next one bye bye